equations with variables on both sides. When solving equations, we isolate the variable on one side of the equal sign. If we have a variable on both sides of the equal sign, we should get rid of one of them first. Make it cancel just like you would any other term that is added or subtracted. If it is added, you would subtract. If it's subtracted, you would add. Once we get rid of one of the variable terms, we will have a set order, starting on the side with the variable. Here's an equation with a variable on both sides. It has 6x on the left and 3x on the right. We need to get rid of one of those terms. It does not matter which one you choose to get rid of. I'm going to choose to get rid of the 3x, so I want to make it cancel. It's a positive 3x, so I need to subtract it from both sides. I usually write it after the term it's going to combine with. cancels out on this side. On the left hand side 6x minus 3x gives us 3x. Now we have a standard two-step equation. We will go on the side with the variable and you take off anything that's added or subtracted. So we're going to take off the 8. It's subtracted so we need to add to make it cancel. Then we'll clean up. This one cancels out. On the left we have 3x equals, on the right, 15. And now back on the side with your variable. You're going to divide out your coefficient. So we're going to divide on both sides by 3. And we clean up. Gives us x equals 5. Here's another example of an equation with variables on both sides. We have a 5x on the left and a 2x on the right. First we should get rid of one of those variable terms. I'm going to choose to get rid of the 2x. It's a positive 2x, so to get rid of it I will need to subtract it from both sides. We'll cancel on the right hand side and on the left hand side 5x minus 2x gives us 3x. And now we have a standard two step equation. Go on this side with the variable and take off anything added or subtracted. So we're going to take off the minus 3. So we will add a 3 to both sides. Then we'll clean up. Watch your signs on this side. We have different signs. Subtract, sign of the larger, and then go back on this side with the variable. We need to divide out that coefficient, which is 3 on both sides, and that will give us x equals negative 5. Here's an equation with a variable on both sides, and it also requires some simplifying. So first we'll work on the left-hand side and distribute the 4. That will give us 12x plus 16, parentheses comes off, and then we have some like terms on that side. So the 16 and the minus 20 can go together. They are different signs. Subtract, sign of the larger. Then we'll work on the right-hand side 
and we have some like terms there. The x terms are alike. Uh, they are also like signs, so we're going to add and keep the sign. And I like my variable first, so I'm going to write it first. Plus 3, and just bring it down. Now we're ready to solve, and we have an equation with a variable on both sides. We should get rid of one of those. I'm going to choose to get rid of the 5x. I can kind of see 12 minus 5 will give me 7. When you're ready to do that, it's fine to do that step in your head. We'll go ahead and write it this time. So I'm going to subtract a 5x from both sides. This one cancels, and on the left-hand side, these go together to give us 7x. Now we have a standard two-step equation. On the left-hand side, you're going to get rid of your 4. It's subtracted, so you will add. Do the same on the right-hand side. Clean up. And then go back on the side with your variable, and you're going to divide out your coefficient. So we're going to divide on both sides by 7, which will give us x equals 1. We'll look at one more example of an equation with a variable on both sides. And I'm going to do this one for you both ways. Uh, first, I'm going to do it and get rid of the 2x. So if we get rid of the 2x, we're going to subtract it. But notice on the right-hand side, it's going to wipe your side out. When that happens, you have to write a 0 because you have to have two sides. So we'll combine on the left. 3x minus 2x gives us just 1x, or x, plus 5 equals come straight down. You have to put a 0 here. A lot of times I'll see students just move this equals over and make a side. That's an illegal step. You can't do that. But you can always fill in 0 if a side cancels. Now we're ready to solve, and it only has one piece to get rid of. So we need to get rid of the 5. It's added, so we will subtract. Clean up, and we get x equals negative 5. I want to look at the same problem with you another way. Uh, we could have chosen to get rid of the 3x. If we get rid of the 3x, we're going to subtract it. It's a positive 3x, and we have to do that to both sides. Cancels on the left. And this time our side did not wipe out. We have a negative 1x there. Remember, you're not allowed to leave a negative x, so we're going to have to divide out that negative 1. That's our coefficient to so get negative 5 equals x. So you do get the same answer. Doesn't matter which one you get rid of.